everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Let me begin by saying a huge Happy New Year to all of you. And the start to my 2021 has been very happy indeed. I'm currently on my favourite beach, Travone Beach, and we are kicking off this year with a month-long special to the Tune In Tuesday series. Oh yes, we are focusing on one issue in particular for the next four episodes in collaboration with Planet Care. Now, over the last 126 episodes, we have covered a whole manner of issues in relation to plastic pollution. But there has been one issue, a monumental issue, that we all contribute to that's been left out. We've spoken about barrel jellyfish, microplastics, giant ghost fishing gear, but we've never spoken about microfibers. When you look out to sea on a day like today, it's hard to believe that there is actually any pollution beneath these rolling waves. But lurking beneath the blue, or grey as it is today, is a hidden tide of pollution. The washing of synthetic textiles has been reported as a potential source of microplastics to aquatic systems. But these microplastics that are generated by the washing of our clothes are very different to the microplastics that we find on the beach. Instead of being pellets, they're synthetic fibres that are about 5 millimetres in length and 10 to 20 micrometres in diameter. That's approximately 100 times thinner than a grain of rice. Though microfibres may be small in size, they are very much the opposite of this in quantity. Researchers from the University of Plymouth, led by Dr Imogen Knapper and Professor Richard Thompson, estimate that for an average wash load of 6 kilograms, over 700,000 fibres could be released per wash. The microfiber loaded wastewater from our machines makes its way into wastewater treatment plants. Unfortunately, however, due to this small size of the fibres, a large proportion pass through the screens of the treatment plants and into the aquatic system. So what are the consequences on marine wildlife? Well, we know for plastic pollution, the two most characteristic issues we're all well acquainted with now are the entanglement and the ingestion. But these tiny microscopic fibres don't necessarily have the ability to ensnare great whales but that doesn't mean that they don't bring problems with them. In fact, due to the ubiquity and the near impossibility of removal, microfibers may well pose a greater and more sinister threat than other forms of plastic pollution. But what is so special about this new series that we're bringing to you for Tune In Tuesday is that microplastics, they're my jam. I feel like I have a decent knowledge of microplastics, but microfibers, this video has pretty much exhausted my brain's microfiber library, so the rest I have no idea about, which we are going to go on a journey exploring together. But as I say, I don't really know that much about microfibers, so we need to call in for some help. As I said at the start of this video, this series is in collaboration with Planet Care, a Slovenia-based startup that have developed a filter that can remove up to 90% of microfibers before they get into the water system. Now, these guys know everything there is to know about microfibers. So for next week's video, you will have the opportunity to ask the expert. We are forming a panel and we want you to ask any questions that you now have about microfiber pollution. And I'll get the chance to ask all the questions that I have too. All you need to do is comment all the questions that you have about microfiber pollution in the comments of this video, or you can message Beach Guardian directly. So please use this opportunity to widen your knowledge of this critical issue. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week for next week's video.